Conventional wisdom tells us that when things are going to take a while, we should let people know. In most interfaces, that translates to progress indicators or loading animations that tell people they're waiting. While the intentions behind these techniques are good, the net outcome can actually be bad. Let's take a look at why and look at some ways that we can make sure people have a great experience while they're waiting. The problem with the progress indicator is that it does just that, indicates the fact that you're waiting. Imagine going to a doctor's office and the first thing that happens while you wait for your appointment is somebody puts a clock in your face. That's what a loading animation does. It calls out the fact that you're waiting for things to come in before you can do anything. At the highest level, it puts the focus on the indicator and not the progress, which is the opposite of what we want. We want people to feel like things are responsive and the application is acting while they wait. An example of doing things right comes to us from Google Search. On Google Search, when you're looking for a web page and you find one you want to see, let's say this one, we'll tap on it, note the page slides in and a loading indicator comes in from the top. We'll do it again to visualize it. Here comes the page and note that it fades in after sliding in and transitioning. There's actually three transitions here which put the focus on the progress, not the indicator. The page loads from the side, it starts to fill in with content, and then it gradually fades forward. These three transitions make it feel like things are happening continuously and not like you're sitting there waiting. Another way to get away from the wait and put the focus on the progress is with skeleton screens. Skeleton screens are essentially a bare bones rendering of a page without the content filled in. And what we'll do with the skeleton screen is store this locally, since it doesn't ever change, and bring in the dynamic information bit by bit so the page gradually fills in. Let's see the skeleton screen in action. So here we go with these bits of information coming first, and then these bits of information coming in second. And as you can see, you're not sitting there staring at a loading indicator as content comes down from the server. You're actually seeing it bit by bit make its way to the interface and become useful to you. That's the magic of making loading indicators work. We want to put the focus on the progress that's happening, not the fact that you're actually waiting. We've got a few techniques for doing that. The interface transitions for short wait times we saw in Google's search app, or skeleton screens when the wait could be a little bit longer and it makes sense to bring things down gradually. In both cases, we want an experience that feels fast, fluid, and performant, and not like sitting at that doctor's office staring down a clock.